Hey everybody and welcome back to another video from Jay's Retro Reactions. Today we're going to be reacting to episode 5 of Mr. In Between, that fantastic crime comedy Australian series which absolutely blew my mind the first time I seen it and which I rank as high as The Wire and Sopranos in terms of quality which is high praise indeed. So what have we seen so far in Mr. In Between? We've met Ray Shoe Smith, the hitman with a conscience and the hitman with a heart. Ray is a criminal who murders people for money on behalf of his boss Freddy, but who also looks after his little daughter and his brother Bruce who's dying from motor neuron disease. We've seen Ray in the first few episodes get a new love interest called Ali, who's a paramedic who he's just hooked up with. But we also seen that he may have just set off a gang war in the last episode because he ended up seriously damaging and hurting some guys that worked for Freddy's daughter's husband's brother's crime gang, right? That's a mouthful to remember and say. In addition, we also got introduced to Gary, Ray's very sexual deviant friend. And so far we've seen from Gary that he's into Golden Showers porn and he, poor Ray had to take the fall for that with Gary's wife when she found his porn stash. And not only that, Poor Gary's brother-in-law tried to very unsuccessfully rob him and he got shot in the head and had half his arm macheted off but managed to survive it all somehow. So that's where we left off with this potential gang war brewing and so I'm really excited to see what happens next. So again, as usual, enough of me talking and let's get on with the show guys. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started, a life is a dream or a nightmare start. Okay, here's this guy, this new guy that Ray got introduced to, who I think might be an undercover cop because he's into jewellery. So, uh, what's going on? How do you feel like doing a bit of driving? Drug dealer. And he's got a shitload of drugs and cash lying around and... So Gary, Ray and the new guy are going to hit this drug dealer and steal all the drugs and cash. Great. I wonder what can go wrong when Gary's involved. Well, what's the plan? Well, my guys are going to go and rip him off. You can draw it. Are they setting this guy up? Did they suspect something? Hey, uh, where's he done it? Straight through, mate. Cheers, mate. So is he going to tip off Freddy about this raid, or is he a cop? <laughs> He's tipping off nobody now. He's dropped the phone, the idiot. That's dead, mate. I've had it happen to myself in the past. <laughs> no recovering your phone from that. You hungry? Yeah. Dimmy? Dimmies. Be right back. Oh. If I have any Australian viewers, please tell me what the hell dimmies are. I don't know. Or maybe I do, and it's just a term I'm not familiar with. Dim sum? Maybe? Spring rolls? I don't know. Who's he trying to contact? And they do suspect him because Ray's standing outside the phone box. Hello. And it was a cop he was trying to ring, Detective Roberts. I don't know. I didn't. I just wanted to make sure you got soy sauce for the dimmies. <laughs> okay, so... Ray just found out this by accident. One of us is a cop. No, I fucking knew it. No, you didn't, Gary. You sent him to get juicy fruit for you. What's the matter, mate? You look a bit worried. Hmm? So what are they going to do now? If they kill a cop, that's a serious matter. They get serious heat for that. The cops would know who he was hanging around with as well. I see some Australian football on the TV there. If you've never seen the game International Rules, which is where Irish Gaelic football, the best of, takes on the best of Australian football, check it out. I have nothing on you. You let me go now and nothing will happen to you, I swear to God. 
I know Ray's got a conscience, but he's also all about the business, and I know he's probably thinking he can't take the risk of letting this guy go. Right, my guy's not with you. Exactly. Which is why you'd be stupid to kill him. So where are they? Fair point, right? Well, I didn't have a car on me, but if I go missing, they're gonna come looking for you. And fair point, cop. Get out. He's letting him go. Ray's not actually having much luck lately, is he? He's had the whole incident with Gary and his brother-in-law, the Golden Showers, his boss's son-in-law's brother, and now this guy's a cop. I can't just let him go. You want to kill him? I can understand why Gary's saying that, but I also get why Ray let him go. The trouble it would cause. Yeah, then we got the cops up both their asses, mate. No, thanks. Exactly, Ray. Ray, what's going on, mate? Not much. How are you, girls? Hey. So Ray's going to have to tell Freddy about the incident with the brother-in-law and killing half his gang? You haven't seen Nick, have you? And no, he's probably just busy. With his other job. Been a cop. Oh, okay, he's just telling Freddy that Nick was a cop. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I owe you big time, my friend. Yep. And you still owe me money too. So Freddy now owes Ray big time. He owes some money from the, the hit he did. He owes him for finding out that Nick was an undercover cop. So when Freddy does find out about the gang war Ray's probably set off, he kind of has to back him. Get, get over here. Hurry the f up, get across. What's this, Ray's been kidnapped? Right, bring your hands over here so I can cuff you. The other one, other one, other one. So is this cops or the gang lord's hitmen? Could be either, to be honest. Some nice ACDC is the ringtone. I like it. I'll hang on to that. So how much would it take for you to let me go, you reckon? They're hitmen, not cops. More than you got. How's Ray gonna get out of this one? Well, how much more? 162,000 bucks. The Ray's trying to outbid the gang lords with these hitmen and say, look, I'll give you more money and let me go. So where is it then? You know where Glenn Davis is? Other side of the Blue Mountains, eh? Interesting. Ray is saying that he's money that he needs to pay these guys, which is more they're getting, than they're getting offered by the gang lord, is in a remote location. Surprise, surprise. So does that mean Ray's going to try and pull a fast one and rely on his skills as a hitman to get out of this once they're remote? So what do you reckon? Well, he's got them interested because they're talking over the offer. Yeah. Yeah. So? But they're probably going to go, let's take the money and kill Ray and get paid twice. That's what I'd do if I was a hitman. Yeah, no, 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 no. We still do that after we get the money. We get the money first. We drop them off to Devils. Everyone's f***ing happy. I knew it. Told you guys. I don't know, man. No, what the f*** is wrong with you? It's $160,000. You don't want 80 grand? Of course, like... So the kind of slower hitman is not too sure. He wants to go with the plan from the original guy, Davros. The other guy's just playing with his ego a little bit, knowing he's a bit slow. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to go get this money, and then we're going to let you go. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. But I assume Ray is smart enough to have worked this out, that these guys will go, let's get paid twice. Let's take Ray's money, let's take Davros' money, and still kill Ray. Boy or a girl? Boy. Like, f what's wrong with girls? These guys who are potentially about to kill each other are just talking about normal family life. Like, exactly what I said, sociopaths. At some point, like, like I said, she's going to grow up and she's going to... Mate, she's going to be... She's going to be sucking a cock. <laughs> Interesting perspective on having daughters over sons. And where you coming from? And I'll probably kill her first couple of fucking boyfriends, but you get over it, mate. That's true, I can say that as having a daughter. The first boyfriend is the worst, it's the toughest. After you get over that one, it gets easier. <laughs> what the fuck is it? What is that? You're worried about your kids sucking dicks and you're going to call the kid Quentin. Exactly, Ray. <laughs> Apologies to any Quentins out there, but come on. Why don't you call him John or something? Give him a fucking bloke's name. Quentin is a bloke's name. A gay bloke's name, yeah. Name one bloke that you know called Quentin who's a blokey bloke. Exactly, no one. Well, not that I've met, and I've only ever met one Quentin in my life. Is it a rich 
strong yeah, fucking name. Right, okay. One man from history. One bloke in history who was a blokey bloke called <sighs> Quentin. 100% right, Ray. I find myself every time agreeing with Ray. Every episode. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm going the best I can, mate. What's Ray's cooking? I, he has to be cooking up something here. He just has to. I know Ray. Where is it, Ray? He ran out of petrol. So he is giving them money, but he must know that they're going to get paid twice, as I said. Raise up to something here, but I just don't know what it is. So what's your combo, Ray? Right? Right I've got it written down, but... Where? At home. So he's pulling a Gary, like Gary did in the last episode with the dopey brother-in-law. He's pretending he's forgot the combination to buy time. You gotta go f***ing 10 minutes up the road, go to a hardware store, get an oxy cutter, job's done. Yeah. Again, what's Ray's game? Now he's telling them that he doesn't have to go to his house to get the combination. Just go to the hardware store and get an oxy cutter. Cut the safe. Oh, what's Ray's game? Honestly. Come on. Stay in the car. This fool's getting out of the car after the other guy specifically told him to stay in the car because he's out of the cities. You used one of these before? No, I'll try not to burn myself. At least wear a pair of sunnies. Yeah, all right, all the sunnies. How much, how much? I actually know two people who've lost eyes from welding. You know, scraps of metal going into their eyes. So in fairness, the guy in the hardware store is making a fair point. You need eye protection with that shit, man. If you don't know what you're doing particularly. Where's the car, Dave? How did Ray get away in the car? What did I tell you? I just went and got... I told you to stay in the car. I, I just went and get smokes. I just went to get smokes. I run right now. How did Ray do that, man? He was locked in the boot. And tied up with those plastic tie things. May, maybe he's he's hiding somewhere. Yeah, just shut the fuck up. Okay, Bobby, sh just do me a favour and shut up. Whoa, yeah. Shut up. So they've nicked the car. They're now trying to hunt Ray down. Hey guys, welcome back. That was the end of episode five and what an episode we got, guys. So Ray not only found an undercover cop in Freddy's gang and saved Freddy yet again, he has now been kidnapped by Davros's hitman. Davros being Freddy's son-in-law's brother and the guys he wiped out with the, not the Sten gun, what was it, the name, the Patchet gun in episode four, right? So Davros has obviously hired these guys to kill Ray. Ray was trying to give them money to say, look, I'll pay you more. These guys are going, brilliant, let's get paid twice. Let's take Ray's money and also whack Ray and get paid from Davros. So Ray led them to where the secret stash was. And suddenly they go in to buy an oxy cutter to open the safe. And Ray's gone, even though he was locked in the boot with the hands tied. So how did Ray do that? I don't know. So now they've nicked a car and they're going looking for Ray. That was a really good episode, actually. I really, really enjoyed it. Lots going on, lots of comedy. The, the hitman and Ray discussing babies' names and whether Quentin was a strong male name, trying to figure out whether to kill Nick or not. I actually think Ray made the right call on that, but I do understand where Gary was coming from saying we should have killed him. I did know that the whole Davros thing was going to come back on Ray, but I didn't expect it so soon. Freddy obviously doesn't know about it because he probably would have said something to Ray if he did when he, Ray met him to talk about Nick. But yeah, that was brilliant. And now I'm really excited to find out what happens in episode six. So I'll talk to you soon, guys. I'm off to record episode six. Take care of yourselves and see you in the next video. Bye for now.